Today, what I'd like to do is introduce you to the SC57 meter by fail piece. It's a really nice meter. It's got a swivel head, which is really nice for if you were uh, actually doing a measurement and you needed to be able to see this so you can clamp it to any uh, wiring or anything so you'd be able to read this up front. Another nice feature that they've incorporated into this is the, the light. So if you're in a dark area, you can go ahead and catch that. So some of the things that are that come with it are number one, of course, a case. Number two, of course, the leads. You get a thermocouple. You get a wireless transmitter, and you get your alligator clips to attach to the leads. Features of the SC57 are your temperature. And basically, you're going to hook up your K-type thermocouples in here. You're going to make sure this is over on to the right. That prevents you from plugging in your leads and electrocuting yourself or causing any other damage. It has your microamps DC, so you can do um, your flame rectification. Really nice. It has microfarads and also ohms. So you can go ahead and select which one you want to be in. I'm going to go ahead and turn this light on for you. Right now we're in ohms. Hit it again. And we're in microfarads. So you can go ahead and test your capacitors. Has the receive, of course. You can sync it up. Has your amps AC and hertz. And you select you can select hertz by hitting the select button back and you're in the amp section has volts AC and also Hertz as well it has volts DC and then non-contact voltage really really nice easy to use all the features you need and none that you don't one of the nicest features about the SC57 is its wireless capabilities really cool the SC57 comes with a wireless transmitter. When coupled with any of the accessory heads, you can take remote measurements. Like using the HCH4. Real easy to use. Just plug it on. Now I can take an amp trial with the door closed. Piece of cake. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is demonstrate to you today the wireless capabilities of the SC57 with the wireless transmitter that it comes with. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and use an AC head basically for amps for the ACH4. So, pretty much as simple, what we're going to do is go ahead and connect the uh, ACH4 into um, the transmitter and we're going to go ahead and turn it on to the AC. Now, on most of them, it, unless it's an AC head, most of the other ones are on DC. This is on AC. Okay, we're going to go ahead and turn this over to receive because this is going to be our receiver. We're going to turn on the light real quick so you can see what's going on. And what we're going to do is sync it. So we're going to hit sync on this one. And then we're going to hit sync on this one. And it's going to sync, it's going to pair the two together. Now that it is synced, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this on the motor. And go ahead and close the door. Okay, we see that the motor is kicked in and exactly how many amps this motor is pulling when it's running. It's that simple. Piece of cake, real easy.